Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be based off of a theme. This theme is going to be called the HUD theme. It's actually a premium theme. So we'll go ahead and get started. This theme has to do with more of a black and blue type interface and it covers everything all the way down to the clock, to the task manager, to the explorer bar, to basically everything. So uh, we have a theme right here, a uh, theme pack. Uh, it's going to be extracted and installed uh, via skin pack and in another video just so you guys know so I don't forget this I will be showing a standalone video on how to install general skin packs that way um, it'll go ahead and help you as you decide not to want it so when you get your skin pack either 64 bit or 32 bit you want to go ahead and right click on it and you want to run as administrator that way you're given full rights to go ahead and install everything. Next, you want to go ahead and press next to continue. Then you want to agree to the license agreement. Next. Then you want to uncheck all this because this is spam. After that, you want to go ahead and see what you want to go ahead and install, whether you want the media cursors, visual style, wallpaper, font, rocket dock, or the refresh icon. Everything is more or less all necessary. So after you decide to go ahead and choose what you want, you want to go ahead and press install and give that a second and it'll go ahead and install everything that you chose. And once everything's done, I believe it'll ask you to go ahead and restart your computer. After I restart my computer, I'll go ahead and show you the full effect and everything that is based on the HUD premium theme. So let's go ahead and give this a minute. And it's completed. So I'll go ahead and press next. After that, it'll go ahead and ask you to go ahead and reboot. Okay, so after you go ahead and restart your computer, you should have this theme available. And if not, if you have a black screen, all you have to do is just go right click on your desktop and go to personalize and click on the new theme that was created in your installed themes. And it the wallpaper should go ahead and appear. So as we go through this theme, we see first the taskbar and we also see the rocket dock and the wallpaper. And if we click on the start menu, we also see a new interface on the start menu as well as the other parts. Um, if there is anything that I'd like to go ahead and show you, it'd probably be in the Explorer. Um, as you can see, the whole Explorer window has totally transformed itself. The icons for the hard drives have changed and as well as the username file list for all your folders like your music, pictures and videos and uh, etc. Um, another uh, interface change is the libraries uh, and as well as the control panel a bit. Not much in all control panel settings. Uh, here, there's not much change except for default programs, folder options, and a bit more of taskbar and start menu. Um, if you can go ahead and look at the clock, it's changed a bit. However, it's not changed to the original premium theme that we are accustomed to seeing. Uh, also, the task manager, if you go over here, right click on your taskbar, go to the start task manager, we can see that has been changed as well. And we can see that by pressing performance or network. Um, yeah, so all that's more or less changed. And uh, I, I like the the Rocket Dock taskbar. It looks real nice. It blends in with the theme. Um, if you guys are looking for these icons to go ahead and blend into your theme to look like mine, I'll go ahead and set those icons along with this theme as well. Um, these are either PNG or .ICO icons, and uh, yeah, this is the this is the HUD premium theme that is made by Grim, I believe, um, and all credit goes to Grim for making this theme, and all credit goes to uh, Hamid from uh, SkinPacks.com for going ahead and getting this theme and putting it into his theme installer and making it a lot easier easier for most of us so yeah this is the theme so i hope you guys enjoy it go ahead and share this for all your other friends uh, i'd appreciate that if you guys can go ahead and do that and thumbs up if you like this video 
Uh, and just uh, so you guys know, there is a small benefit in having this theme. Being that this theme is uh, a dark theme setting, it, I would say it would give you at least a good 20 more minutes to close to a 30 minute mark uh, of battery life. If you're running on a laptop, if you're running on a desktop, it really doesn't matter. But for those that are running on a desktop, I mean a laptop, it does give you an extra 20 to 30 minutes of battery life because it's not uh, using the resource of the LCD uh, backlight as much because it has a dark theme. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this.